Hi, welcome to Kraku. Uh, in this video, we'll be looking at uh, a subtopic under profit and loss and percentage, mainly installments, which is basically where we calculate the amount a person has to pay at a certain time period for n number of times to repay the entire amount. Right? Instead of paying lump sum towards the end, you pay it installment. This is how all the EMI calculations, everything is done. So let's look at the formula. Right. So if an amount P is borrowed for N years, uh, mind you, it's given N years here, but then basically it's be any N time periods. Right? While calculating EMI, we take it as months right so it will become if it's for n years will be it will be 12 n time periods so n years which is basically n time periods r percent per annum compounded annually and x is the installment that is paid at the end of each year right starting from the first year right? so what is the value of x so this is the formula it might look all big and complex but it's pretty simple. So it's P is equal to X by 1 plus R by 100 plus X by 1 plus R by 100 whole square. And it goes on till 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. Now, I think everyone will understand the formula a little better if you see how it's derived. So basically, a principal P is borrowed, right? And let's say the rate is 1 plus R. The rate is R. So, at the end of the first year, the principal will now be 1 plus R by 100. Because it's one year has passed and the amount is now 1 plus R by 100 into P, which is what should be repaid. And then a payment X is made. So, the principal reduces. Right. So, this is the new principal. And for another year, the rate, uh, the principal, the new principal will increase by a rate of 1 plus R by 100. So, at the end of the second year, another payment X is made, right? This is now the new principle. This is the new principle, right? And then the, for the third year, again, a rate of 1 plus R by 100 is done. So, this goes on until there is a final payment and there is no principle remaining. So, when you expand that, you will get P is equal to X by 1 plus R by 100 plus X by 1 plus R by 100 whole square till x by 1 plus r by 100 to the power n. It's basically the same thing. It's extremely simple. Let's look at some questions. So, Babalu borrowed 20,000 at a compound interest of 20% for a period of 3 years. So, principal is 20,000 right? a period of 3 years. n is equal to 3 years. Right? So, instead of repaying the loan at the end of 3 years, so if he had repaid the loan at the end of 3 years, he would have to pay 1.2, since the rate is 20%, 1.2 whole cube into 20,000. Alright, so this will be 1.728 into 20,000 which is basically 17280 into 2, 6, 5. So, so, at the end of 3 years, if he had paid at the end of 3 years, he would have to pay 34560. Now, by his paying an annual and 3 annual installments, equal annual installments. So, we need to find out what uh, approximately how much does he save in this process. So, how much money does he approximately save in this process when compared to paying the entire loan at the end of 3 years? So, this is the entire loan paid at the end of 3 years. Now, if you were to calculate an equated installment that is being paid at the end of each year, how much money will he save? So, let's drop the equation which is basically 20,000. Right? At the end of first year, it will be uh, or will be increased by a rate of 1.2 and then an installment X is paid. Right, and the end of the second year it will increase by another 1.2, and then an installment X is paid, and then at the end of the third year it will increase by 1.2, and then an installment X is paid, and there is no more principal remaining. So, expanding this, we get 20,000 is equal to X by 1.2 whole cube plus X by 1.2 whole square plus 
x by 1.2 right now expanding this we will get 20,000 is equal to x by 1.728 plus x by 1.44 plus x by 1.2 now taking the denominator as 1.728 we multiply this by 1.2 and this by 1.44 so that we will get this as and then adding up we will get 20,000 is equal to 3.64 x divided by 1.728 now 1.728 so taking for uh, finding for x we will get x is equal to 34560 divided by 3.64 now this is the annual installment and he pays it for 3 years so the total money paid by him would be 3x right now we need to find the money saved this is what he paid and this is what he would be paying if he had paid at the end of the 3 years so we'll have to find out 34560 minus 3x which is basically 34560 minus 3 by 3.64 into 34560. Right, taking 34560 common and then multiplying the denominator by 1 here, we will get 0 0.64 by 3.64, right, into 34560. Right, solving for this, we will approximately get 60. Seven six. So let's look at the next question. Raju borrowed a sum of twelve thousand rupees. So principal is twelve thousand at a compound interest rate of ten percent. If Raju repaid the amount in three equal installments, with each installment to be paid at the end of each year. Find the value of each installment. This is a pretty straightforward question. We just need to find the value of each installment paid at the end of each year. So, write up the equation. We will get 12,000 is equal to x by 1.1 whole cube plus x by 1.1 whole square plus x by 1.1. Now, this will be x by 1.331 plus x by 1.21 plus x by 1.1 so this is the equation x by 1.331 plus x by 1.21 plus x by 1.1 multiplying this by 1.1 and this by 1.21 to make the denominator 1.331 we will get x by 1 plus 1.1 x plus 1.21 x divided by 1.331 right and solving for this, we will get 3.31x divided by 1.331. Right, so this is equal to 12,000. So x will be equal to 12,000 into 1.331 divided by 3.31. Solving for x, you will get it as 4825 point something so approximately the answer is p look at the next question an amount 3 lakh 64 thousand which compounds annually at the rate of 20 percent is repaid in three equal installments find the value of each installment now this is the very straightforward question where the principal is equal to 36400 now if you remember the first question we calculated the value when you take annual installment as 20 percent right so it will be x by 1.2 whole cube plus x by 1.2 whole square plus x by 1.2 now expanding it further we will get uh, x by 1.728 plus x by 1.44 plus x by 1.2 and now multiplying this by 1.2 and this by 1.44 will get 3.64x divided by 1.728 is equal to 3.64000, right? So, solving for x, it's pretty simple. Since this is 3.64 and this is 3,64,000, there's nothing we got 1 lakh. So, 1 lakh into 1.728 will be 1.72800. 
the answer is C. Let's look at the next question. Raju bought a laptop for 50,000 rupees and paid 8,000 as a down payment. So a down payment is paid immediately. So the loan he takes is uh, 42,000. So the principal becomes 42,000. The remaining amount which was to be paid in three equal installments at the rate of 20% per annum compounded annually. Find the value of each installment. So again pretty straightforward where the rate is 20 percent and the principal is 42,000 he bought a laptop for 50,000 here but then he paid 8,000 as down payment so he has taken a loan for 42,000 so writing up the equation we will get 42k is equal to x by 1.2 whole cube plus x by 1.2 whole square plus x by 1.2 now we did this right last question so uh, expanding this further and making the denominator common and adding the numerator terms we get 3.64x divided by 1.728 is equal to 42,000 right so x would be 42,000 into 1.728 divided by 3.64 right solving for this it will be 1728 into 42 divided by 3.64 so solving for this we will approximately get 19940 the answer is it's pretty simple right uh, especially the last few questions where um, the loan was given and you find the equal installments. The rate is given, so you just have to drop this equation, which is P is equal to X by 1 plus R by 100. And then it goes on until X by 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. So it's the same formula that is applied. There might be some slight twists like down payment given, but still pretty straightforward. Might be a little calculation intensive. It might have to get used to the calculator a little bit, but then it's pretty easy. Thank you.